Uh, hi students, uh, welcome. This is another session. Uh, it has been a long time. Uh, we didn't share any content did actually in this channel. But then we're going to start slowly, slowly. And you know, if it is our first time to be here, we mainly actually share content related to mathematics. And uh, in this uh, today's session, I'm going to go to from four national exams last year, mathematics exam. Uh, and I will solve uh, question number one uh, with you. But before we go to question number one, uh, just to remind you instructions of the exams and actually as per current uh, syllabus or format, students are supposed to attempt all questions from all sections, section A and B. Section A carries 60 marks. Uh, with 10 questions and also section B carries uh, four uh, questions each question carrying 10 marks students are supposed to show all necessary workings and answers uh, clearly mathematical tables non-programmable calculators may be used and the students they have to write the uh, examination number on every page of the uh, answer uh, booklet. So to jump uh, to questions, so this was question number one. Equal squares which are as large as possible are drawn on a rectangular board measuring 54 centimeter by 78 centimeter. Find the size of each square. So to get the size of each square, students have to find GCF, the greatest T common factor of these numbers 54 and 78 so we are going to break them uh, we are going to break them down by using prime factorization method dividing 54 by 2 you are going to get 27 78 will be 39 and then uh, by 3 will be 9 then he will be having 13 by 3 once again will be having 3 13 by 3 again be having 1 and then 13 it eventually you're going to divide by 13 you're going to get to 1 1 so remember how do we find the GCF we are going to check the common divisor of these two numbers and here we have 2 is common we have also 3 is common so GCF GCF is 2 times 3 which is going to be 60 so the size of each square the size of each square the size of each square has to be 60 centimeter long and that is going to be actually the size the maximum size of each square dear students we are going to jump to question number 1b and uh, question number one in, in a class of 40 students uh, 17 students are boys and the rest are girls determine the percentage of girls and boys so we have actually 17 boys number of boys number of boys is 17 number of girls will be taken 40 minus 17 you get 23 uh, girls and here you have boys so determine the percentage of girls and boys so percentage of boys you're going to take number of boys divided by total number total number of students then you're going to multiply 
by 100%. So percentage of boys, you are going to take a number of boys, which is 17 of course. So I'll be taking 17 over 40 multiply by 100%. So when you multiply, uh, you can use your calculator to plug the details 17 divided by 40. When you take 17 divided by 40, you multiply by 100, you get 42.5%. So this is 42.5%. To get percentage of girls, percentage of girls, I can take number of girls divided by total number of students, total number of students, you multiply by a hundred or you just take 100 minus 42.5 eventually you're going to get the same answer and here we'll be taking 23 divided by 40 times 100 percent uh, so the result we'll be getting actually will be getting 57.5 uh, percent so percentage of uh, percentage of girls is 57.5 percent what about number of boys in decimals so that is a roman 2 number of boys number of boys in decimals actually that is going to be 0 0.425 it means the decimal corresponding to 42.5 percent so that is going to be number of boys uh, dear colleagues and dear students and so in overall that is how uh, question number one nectar 2025 2024 sorry was supposed to be solved that is all see you in the other coming session